Hello, this is the first time I've ever vlogged before, especially about something um, as personal as um, my spirituality. I will be calling myself Jade Empire on here just to uh, differentiate myself from my other uh, projects and things. Uh, and then I, I'm going to discuss on here a few different things. I, I want to, uh, like I'm going to convocation later uh, in a few weeks, uh, that's in February, this is uh, 2018 when I'm recording this, so just to date it, because why the heck not? I will get better. <laughs> that's the one thing I could say, is I, I definitely will get better. So yeah, uh, one thing I definitely want to start doing is I really want to get into uh, the Devon Hunter um, uh, Black Rose Witchcraft 13-month uh, school. Uh, I will be probably starting that today. Uh, so this is going to be from day one of that. Uh, and I will be taking you with me on that journey. So how exciting. It's going to be great. I can't wait. And uh, I don't know how to not be goofy because this is... I knew it was going to be awkward to just sort of talk into the cold, unfeeling eye of a camera. Um, but I need to get a better mic, so I know I don't sound really great right now. And I do plan on getting a better mic, and I will be getting one soon, I promise. So I look forward to enrolling in that uh, this evening. Uh, and then I will be sharing with you some thoughts I have after my first day. Uh, and I kind of want to make that a recurring thing. I want to I sort of make it a, a, a video uh, grimoire, for lack of a better phrase. Um, we'll give that a shot. A couple other things that are going on with me. Uh, just to kind of give you an, an introduction to me a little bit. As a magical old practitioner, I've been kind of on and off for the past, like, oh, I don't know, maybe 15 years. I'm 32 now, so I've been doing it for a long time, but nothing too arduous and too direct and more like really kind of sinking my teeth into. Uh, the past few years I've definitely been ramping that up with greater and greater amounts and so it'll be really nice to kind of actually have something solidified, something like, like the school in, in order to help me kind of progress and move into a position where I really want to be. Like I want to be much further along and that, that, that is my end goal is to I get into the Blue Rose Fairy stuff, um, uh, as done by, you know, Storm Fairy Wolf and all that, because that's definitely something that's piqued my interest uh, after reading Storm's uh, book, Betwixt and Between, uh, which is a, a really good book. Uh, I'm roughly a quarter of the way through, like, just reading it. I've been kind of practicing it out of it uh, here and there. Uh, I have stopped this past uh, few months. Uh, because unfortunately I am going through a divorce at the moment, um, which is part of the reason that I'm in this new space, part of the reason I moved is because I'm kind of striking out on my own again, uh, part of the reason why I had a bit of a, a crisis of faith uh, the past few months, um, because I did do some magical work to try and make things better, and it didn't work, and that's fine. So, uh, 2017, was a very rough year for me. And so 2018, I'm I'm deciding to make it better. As far as I can tell, it is just a decision uh, where we get together and we get our thoughts and we decide, okay, this is the way I might want my life to go. I want my life to go in this direction. And I'm very much so that person. Uh, I like to say my superpower is my willpower. So I've decided to do a thing and I will do it. Uh, that's come with all of my side projects. It's come calls with my that comes with my regular you know job, uh, my day job. Uh, I'm a retail manager for a video game store, uh, so I have a lot going on. You know, I uh, I also write books. Uh, I've been getting more into making other podcasts, and this is really the beginning of my video phase, uh, of which there will be many. Uh, but this one, I really want to make something something really personal, something really special. Uh, and so I really want to see what I can get out of this. I, I don't, I suspect not a lot of people will be watching this right off the bat, or really even in the long run, and, and that's not entirely what I want this to be. I, I'm, not, I'm not aiming for a lot of followers or, or fame or anything like that. I, I just want to 
have a record. I want to have a record of me trying to make my life the way I think I would like it to be. And if I can do that through the medium of YouTube, through the medium of video, uh, all the better. Because you know what, it's fun and it may, if nothing else, inspire more people uh, to do more good, you know, and to really reach out and to, to branch out even more. Because I think this community is an amazing community. Yeah, there's definitely some issues, obviously, uh, and different aspects of it, but I think 98% of the time, it's an amazing community, and it's a very welcoming and engaging community. And I want to become a part of that. I want to put myself out there more. Uh, so yeah, that's what uh, this vlog will more or less be about. Uh, so I think I'm going to end this with like, uh, I'm going to do my best because I'm not 100% skilled in the video editing department yet, and I will get better because that is something I'm determined to get down. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to end this with a, like a, um, God, I don't even know what the word is. Uh, it doesn't matter. A speeded up version of me putting my altar together and putting my space together uh, and kind of going from there. I will keep going, and uh, I think I will wait until after I have... Uh, convocation uh, footage to also uh, put all together and so I think I'll probably release everything all at once because about right now I'm recording them roughly a month before con, con starts so that'll be really fun I'm gonna be there for all four days and I'm pretty excited oh one other thing that's actually happening with me um, I'm actually really really excited uh, to share uh, is one of my personal favorite uh, YouTube uh, YouTube vloggers. Yeah, I think that's what she is. Yeah, um, Ellen Griffiths of the Heart of the Witch's Path uh, YouTube channel uh, has agreed to meet up with me, and I'm actually going to be hanging out with her and uh, and Kathy actually. So I'm really freaking excited. Uh, I'm going to go meet them, and I'm going to say hi. I'm going to shake their hands, and I'm going to buy them coffee, and we're going to talk about stuff. And, yeah, we're, so I asked if they would be willing to kind of share some tips and tricks and any pointers they have um, in regards to making YouTube channels stuff work, like what kind of worked, what they've noticed didn't work, you know, I kind of want to get sort of a perspective of someone who's already kind of gone down this path a little bit further uh, and see what, uh, what ideas I can come up with because, I, you know, I love learning from other people. Uh, and especially people I respect, and I respect uh, Helen uh, and Kathy very, very much so. Uh, and so I really look forward to hearing what they have to say. So if you haven't experienced their channel, uh, well, Helen's channel, really, but Kathy comes out all the time. Uh, it's uh, Heart of the Witch's Path. I definitely recommend checking it out. She teaches so many interesting things, and she's really engaging to watch, and she's really fun. So I, I highly recommend it. At any rate, that would be the end. So. Okie dokie. Um, I don't know how to end these yet. I don't know if there's like a phrase. I and mean, I could say something like blessed be, but I don't really say that. Um, so I have to figure out a good way to end. Because I feel like just cutting it in the middle of a sentence would be kind of odd. You know, I said, uh, I mentioned my altar in the, uh, in the video here, so I thought I would just go ahead and give you a quick little tour. Uh, as you can see, I got in this corner, I got some little little Buddhas, and I have little Buddhas over on the other side as well. So I got a nice matchy matchy because I'm a bit OCD, which is fine. And the green bag is actually uh, my rune set, uh, which I'm still learning, and I'm kind of on the fence about. I don't know. I like them, but uh, I feel like they're not not really for me because I haven't made them myself, so I've actually been gathering stones to make uh, my own set of runes, uh, which is a whole a whole process, and I'll probably make a video about that as well, just because it's fun. Um, over in the other corner, since we started on the corners, uh, um, I have my other Buddhas, as well as my uh, tarot deck. That is the, uh, it's, a, it's a Rider weight. Uh, it's just kind of a small one. Uh, it is the one that my, my mother bought me uh, when I was like 16 or 17 and I was starting to kind of gather interest 
uh, in all this kind of stuff. I, think I have a, a nice uh, smoky amethyst here, stone, that helps me when I'm feeling a little nervous or scared or anything. I tend to give that a good rub. And then I have some candles here. I have this black one in the middle. That's the uh, representative of the star goddess. The blue one on the right is the blue god, and the one on the uh, left is another one, which I just cannot remember at the moment, but uh, that's because I haven't really worked with them too much, so uh, I will get there eventually. And then this nice little pattern of um, some stage sage sticks that uh, that I like, because I, I, I tend to burn the sage uh, just before most magical workings. And then I have this really nice black altar cloth with some cool golden dragons on it, which I've had for years and years. Uh, it's a bit... Uh, it's a bit old, so it's kind of faded, but that's all right. And if we pull back, you can see my big lotus flower thing with the... we got the chakras going around the outside there, which is pretty cool. All right, and that's my altar. All right, so I just finished um, my first week of the Black Rose Witchcraft. Man, I can't, cannot speak. This is actually my first time speaking this morning, so I probably shouldn't be doing it into a camera. <laughs> okay, so this is why you can hear so much road noise. Because I have a main road just outside my living room window. Um, so I will need to figure that out at some point in the future. So I just finished the first week of the Black Rose Witchcraft uh, class. Uh, not much to speak about this week, it was just introductions, sort of getting to know the teachers and the class and sort of what's going to be expected. Um, so there wasn't really anything to do this week. Um, which is fine, I was kind of expecting that. Uh, but I was reconnecting with, you know, uh, doing some meditation work, uh, as well as making sure, you know, I'm sort of mentally prepared. Obviously I physically set up my space. Uh, this is my altar behind me as you can see. Um, I like it. It's nice. Uh, I went and got this really big cloth here and it looks really nice. I think it looks really good. Uh, it adds a, adds a lot to the space. Um, so I'm pretty excited uh, so far. I've been uh, joining in the forums. Uh, which are very active, like surprisingly active, and uh, I'm meeting with some of the other students and stuff and sort of just kind of, you know, chatting with them a little bit through uh, the forum. I'm excited. I think it's going to go really well. Uh, so, I look forward to it. Okay. Anyway, thank you very much.